Hello Muppo fans and today my DIY is on I'm going to show you how to repair a sewing machine and it's the timing and we've the last, last couple of times I've talked about how important timing is with God or with anything that's on, going on in your life how important timing is and I compare it to a, a sewing machine it doesn't matter how much money you spend on the sewing machine, it doesn't matter how fast it is or whatever, if the timing's off, it will not work. So I'm going to show you how to repair timing on the sewing machine. And look, these uh, pins I've bent hitting them with needles. But this time, this needle hit right on the pin and bent it. Look at that. What are, what are the chances of that happening? And then this one broke right off. Look at that. That is so crazy. To hit right on the tip of that pin and bend it like that. Note to self, I know I'm not supposed to do this. You're not supposed to sew over the pins. So stop doing that, Roseanne. Because this will happen. Look at that. Look at that. Would you just look at that? <laughs> it just went right hit right on the tip there. Wow, just bent that. I had to get the pliers to pull that out. That's crazy. Okay, so this is an industrial sewing machine and it goes very, very fast. And when the timing's off, well, any sewing machine, whether it's slow or fast, it will not work. So we got to go inside. Just push this back. There we go. Take the bobbin out so you can see. And when you're adjusting, when you're fixing the timing, um, this has slid. The needle has to slide down and catch the thread that comes up. Let's see, we got the oil in there. Okay. So right here, you just loosen that. And I've already timed it, but so you just loosen that so that this uh, can can wiggle, can move, and you want this needle to be able to come down and then back up and catch that thread. See how that thread has to catch that neat that the bobbin that's coming up. It goes up and down. See, now the timing's good on this one, as I set it. And then once once you set it, then you tighten this back up as tight as you can. That screw right there, okay? We put it back down here. And you have to take these throat plates off. Take them off. Let me get them off and then start filming. Now you loosen them with the screwdriver. And you gotta move this guy out of the way a little bit. Let's open him up. Okay, open this guy up so you can see what's going on in there. And loosen those screws because you need to see what's going on in there. Put the screws where you won't lose them, that rhymes. And get that plate off of there. Let's get the needle up. So you can see what's going on. I think I'll take this foot off too so you can see. Okay, now we can see right down in there that needle goes down there and it See, before the needle was hitting, was hitting this right here, and it can't do that. It's got to be able to to go into the hole right there. Now watch how it comes down. It catch. It has to catch right in that V area right there. It has to catch there and come up. Now I'm going to sew a bit. And if the timing's off, the needle will break, the thread will break, everything is just a mess. 
and this is the screw that you loosen and then you just um, make sure that needle is able to go right into that V and if it doesn't you just loosen that screw and hold this and just turn the wheel manually the, turn this manually because you don't want to be going fast when you're down here working here and then you make sure that needle is going right down here and it's funny I used to take the sewing machine in and have them time it for me but these things are so heavy you have to unhook it back here you have to unhook it and carry the thing in and unhook the belt and I asked the guy I said will you just show me how to time it myself because I kept knocking the timing off and I've had to repair them a few times and then it saves you a ton of money a ton of, you don't have to use your muscles to carry the thing so it works out really good all right and then with that timing going you can you can sew and not worry about it okay we'll go ahead and put everything back together now that you know how to fix the timing on your industrial sewing machine okay everything's put back together it's running again uh, like a charm but with that if that timing's off it's pretty bad okay well thanks uh, that's what uh, that's how to fix the timing in your industrial sewing machine without having to take it into the shop and it's just a lot of work and you just fix it yourself thanks for liking commenting and subscribing and remember we'll, remember i come on every friday at two we'll see you next week thank you and goodbye